Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. Uh, it's been, uh, as always, it's been a little while since I've recorded this series. Um, but, I have something planned new for today. So, because we haven't really done much with redstone yet, I want to get started on a redstone based, um, a smeltery. So, that means we're going to need a lot of redstone, probably a lot of quartz. Whoa, what was that? That was scary. <laughs> Did anyone else see that? I think that was that, uh, that Windows built-in recording thing. Hold on, if I press Windows G. Oh, yeah, there it is. We can, there's no, no more need for fraps, I guess. <laughs> I'll just, I'm not going to question that. Anyways, um, so, Windows 10. Um, I'm going to talk about this real quick. Windows 10 has a built-in, um, whatchamacallit, uh, game capture. Windows 10 has a built-in game capture service, and I have not tested it out yet, um, but I probably should at some point. Um, I've not heard anything about, I haven't, I'm not quite sure if, um, if anyone's really said anything on it, but I'd imagine it's pretty good. Or at least, you know, better than <laughs> better than not having a game capture. I mean, I've been using Fraps for the past, uh, four years now? <laughs> I've been using Fraps for so long, I probably could not switch to anything else aside from, um, Xplit Game, Game, uh, Gamecaster? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Um, something like that. But, man. It's, it's... It's crazy. I've been using Fraps to record, like, everything for the longest time. Because I've had no problems with it. Because it's, it's lost this quality. And, you know, it re records at the highest resolution possible, which is, you know, your, your native resolution. So, I don't know. But, either way, you guys, you gotta, you gotta check out Windows 10. Windows 10 is... Probably my favorite operating system of all time, and I can say that honestly. Um, also, being a Windows user my entire life, um, and also exper uh, messing around with other operating systems, um, I've used a good bit of Linux, and I really don't like Macs. <laughs> like I could, I could, I could preach that all day and night. Um, I just really don't like Macs. Like, I pr I shouldn't get into it, um, but uh, either way, Windows 10 is an amazing OS, and I would recommend it to anyone, like, experienced with computers or not, Windows 10 is a gorgeous operating system, it runs amazingly, like, everything runs so much better, and I'm, oh, I've got a cat in my room with me, um, Windows 10, it just, it, it's improved, um, a lot of my, my frame rate, um, issues, because, you know, I'm rocking this, uh, uh, almost four-year-old laptop, three or four years old, because it's the Alienware M14X, um, and, man, this thing, it, it runs so much better with Windows 10, like, I'm really happy that it does, um, the only real problem regarding, like, uh, think, like, hardware components and stuff like that is, um, I've been having a memory leak issue for the past, uh, past few months. Um, this was long before I installed Windows 10. This was, like, um, uh, probably about May? A little before May, maybe. Um, I started having some memory leak problems, um, but... <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was due to the fact that, you know, my RAM is years upon years old, so I'm probably gonna work on getting some new RAM for my birthday and whatnot, and, uh, we'll go from there. We'll get, uh, I'd like to get 16 gigs, and at some point down the line I'll, um, hmm. I don't know, I'm satisfied with my graphics card. It's better than... Uh, it's better than what most people have for, uh... 
uh, this many year old graphics card. Um, so, I'm satisfied. Um, so we need the door to go in about here because we need padding here. Um, we need more space here. So if we lay out the door about right here, um, this should give us a good bit of space between here and here. So, I uh, want at least three blocks in between. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. That way if the roof uh, gets too close. Um, I'm also going to need a good bit of room to do redstone. Um, I guess I could keep this even numbers and make this like a little like door frame. Uh, or not even numbers. Make this part odd numbers. Um, actually, hold on a second. Do I have any more room this way? So if I align... If I line the path here, um, I'd have enough space to go to about here without it being too janky and too close. So, we can move the door over to right here. That'll work. And then we can move this over by one. Um, So this will be one, two, three, four, five. That'll work. Yeah, this works perfectly. Okay. Shit. <laughs> oh god. Um, I think it was this one. So this is one, two, three, four, one, three, four. And move this torch. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, I don't have any time to do anything anymore with Dark Souls. <laughs> like the game has just consumed my life away for the past almost four months like my god what a what a great game but at the same time what a life draining game like I never have time to like wanna play any other video game cause like Dark Souls pretty much spoiled me so if we have um cause this is gonna be a big wall we can do one two, three, four, five furnaces on each side would give us room to about here. So it'll be one block shorter than the other building. So if we align things over here, uh, there we go. That'll work. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go with this. It's the only type of wood- oh, jeez. It's the only type of wood I have not used in any of these buildings yet. I'm gonna make a lot cooler stuff soon. Like, this is just like, um, I wanna get like the main buildings out of the way. Um, and probably we're gonna move underground at some point soon. Um, cause I really like building underground. Cause, I don't know, I can build cool things on the surface but also live underground and be a lot happier. Um, but, I don't know, let's, maybe we'll make it a challenge to build everything above ground. Um, I suppose right here could be, like, the, uh, the farm buildings. Because, <laughs> that's not sufficient right there. Honestly. I, what was the last time I even harvested this? Let's go harvest this real quick. I'm gonna plan, I'm, um, a long while back, um, like, as in, uh, about a year's while back. Um, I came up with a design for, an, like, a completely automatic flushing system for, uh, for farms. Um, so you would, it, it, it's basically like a zen garden kind of flush, where it flushes from, like, top to bottom, all the way down, and then the items collectively fall down, um, into a trap, and you can just pull them out of a chest there, using hoppers. And that's sufficed for many, many times. Many, many time. Uh, yeah, many a long time. Oh wow, that harvest way faster than I thought. I probably should have been a little bit more careful. Um, but... Um... 
I came up with that design all just just for <laughs> just for the uh, the Project Lucrum server for anyone who uh, who either remembers that or was around for that. Um, and like that design, like I came up with it on accident because <laughs> I was like it would be really cool to have uh, like a redstone machine that would like constantly flow water um, like up and down, kind of like a like one of those like like. Like, my basis idea was, like, those cup things, where, like, water flows, um, from, like, cup to cup, all the way down those, like, cup fountains. They're so cool to me. Um, and that was, like, the whole basis of my idea. Um, and that's pretty much how I've stuck with, um, with coming up with, uh, design ideas for things, is I, I've taken inspiration from, like, real-life objects. Um, and that's worked for a long time. Um, which you, you can also use that for taking inspiration from art. Um, or for art, I should say. Um, like, take something you'd see in a natural, like, instance, and take a pig. Uh, you can, you can be my new, uh, my new house, house guy. You, um, Yeah, you you can move in. You can you can live in there with Alphonse. Um, like what I what I've noticed f um, in doing art so many years of my life, um, which I, I I've gotten back into art quite a bit um, as of recently. Like um, a cup a week or two ago, um, about two or three weeks ago, I'd say. Um, I sat for seven and a half hours and drew, um, drew Artorias from Dark Souls, um, and it doesn't look all that spectacular because I couldn't find my art pencils, and so it's all done in, um, uh, number two pencil. Oh, Jesus. Um, it doesn't look, like, spectacular, like, 3D, like, crazy cool stuff, um, but at the same time, it, it turned out so much better than I've probably done on any other sketch in either years or in my life. Um, and, like, that's just, like, stuck with that. Um, and I'd, I'd really like to get back into drawing again. Like, just in general. Because I used to draw so much all the time. Like, especially in 7th grade, I used to draw all the time. Um, like, if I had nothing to do, like, I would just sit and draw for, like, hours on end, because, like, no matter how much pa how l much little patience I have for some things, like, like Dark Souls 2, which is really annoying, um, but you didn't hear that from me, uh, drawing is one of those things, like, you can just sit down for just any length of time, and just sit and draw, and that's what I've always really loved about drawing, um, which... It's, it's kind of sad that it's become such a, like, hipster thing, honestly. Like, um, drawing has become one of those things where it, it's like an instance where it went from, um, like, oh, like, um, uh, people with not much money in their family, um, like myself or, um, uh, Aaron, or also known as Eager Raptor, um, come from a family with not much money, you know, you, there always is, uh, pencils and paper around somewhere, um, and, like, you can always just sit and draw at any time, um, but, like, now it's, like, modern arts, like, you can splash paint on a table and then call it art, and it's, like, well, modern art, like, what happened, what happened to good art, like, um, I grew up around, um, my brother, who has been drawing for longer than I have, um, and he's really good at doing pencil art, um, like, especially from reference and everything as well, um, and my sister was, likes to paint, but, uh, doesn't really do that anymore, um, cause I hate painting, <laughs> I really... I love looking at paintings, but I hate painting. It's just not precise enough. Um, but I guess I'm just spoiled with pencil. Um, 
but I don't know. Art is just, it's become more of a, like, competitive thing to be, like, who can be, like, the best at drawing, um, like, stupid shit, like, at any time. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> like, art is, like, interpretive. Like, m almost the entire basis of art is, uh, interpretation. But then you get into, um, like, nowadays, where it's like, oh, I drew this, and it invokes a feeling of, um, sadness, because the splotch of paint that's, like, purple makes you think about life, and, yeah, like, no, that, it makes me sad. I, I wish art would, like, kick back into high gear, because, like, it, it doesn't seem like much of a, like, thing in general anymore, I mean, everyone's so focused on, like, sports and, um, like, sitting on their iPhones and stuff like that, where, whereas back, when, like, smartphones weren't as popular and stuff like that, like, people would just sit and draw whenever they were bored. That's what I used to do, which, <laughs> pretty much same thing. Um, like, I got more into doing computer programming because I got so much busier with it, um, which is why I, like, never have time for anything else. Like, I'm, I'm always programming if I have nothing to do, because God knows I have so, so much programming I have in my plate that I have to get done, um, with, especially with the project that I kicked up, um, with a couple friends of mine. Um, I think I talked about that, um... But I've been working like crazy, sitting in, uh, doing web programming for hours on end, um, and it's like, wow, <laughs> I remember having time. Um, one second. Quite sure. Like, I don't know. Art's, art's just one of those things these days, it's... It's becoming less and less popular to, like, the people who actually do art, and more popular to the people who say they do art, I suppose. You know, it's, 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 it, mm, it's a touchy subject. But, anyways, back to Windows 10. Windows 10 is a work of art on its own. Um, like, Wow. Um, I guess I'll talk about Windows 10 a little bit more. So, Windows 10, it's it's a lot more user-friendly than most operating systems, which is surprising, um, because it, it's a very complex OS. Um, like, if you know Windows, like, Windows 10 is... <coughs> Jesus. Windows 10 is a very complex operating system um, with virtual desktops, and it's... Um, the way it does apps and everything, like Windows 10 is really crazy, and it's it's a it's a power it, like Windows became a power operating system, which is really cool. Um, because that's something I never would have expected from uh, Microsoft. Like, you can do so much with Windows now, and multitasking has become the easiest thing in the world. Um, like, usually if I'm working on stuff, I'll have a, a virtual desktop for doing graphic design, another desktop for programming, and then a third desktop with, like, Spotify and Skype and whatnot. Um, and, like, it makes everything so cool. Like, Windows 10 is such a good operating system. I could talk about it for hours. And I would highly recommend it to anyone, like, regardless of how familiar you are with, um, um, uh, with, with Windows in general, uh, and or, like, just operating systems as a whole, um, it's, it's, it's very simplistic in the way that it's very familiar, um, due to the fact that it's, it's, it's very much so, like, Windows 7, and kind of XP, it's like a mix of like 7 XP and 8, um, more, more so 8, um, but like, 
very like subtle like tidbits to um, to Windows Seven with um, with things such as like um, like the Start menu, especially. Like I've 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 heard of a lot of people talk about how nice it is to have like the small Start menu back, and um, I do agree that the new Start menu it gives way better performance. Um, because you're not loading like this super heavy thing, um, in, you know, in your Windows that would you know cover your entire desktop and whatnot. Um, Windows 8 was a very good operating system, but I think Windows 10 really has it in the bag. Um, like it's got so many hidden features that like I'm st I'm still figuring out new things um, as we speak. Like I like I said I haven't even tried out the. Um, the built-in uh, game recording thing, but I'd love to try it. Um, there's the new command prompt, which thank you Microsoft for finally updating command prompt to the point where we can finally have it in full window and also um, change the font size and everything, and actually copy and paste without having to like right-click and stuff, because it makes life so much easier. Um, especially if you're like a like a batch programmer, um, which I used to do a lot of batch myself when I first got into programming. Which it seems like batch is like a common start for like uh, this generation of programmers. Um, like batch is just where you start. You start off making like stuff in Notepad, and it just goes from there. Um, but am I? Oh yeah, I'm still I'm still in hard mode. Um, What's another thing about Windows 10? Oh, the fact that Windows apps don't take up your entire screen now is probably like my favorite thing cuz it's so comfortable using apps now. Like I used to like never ever use apps cuz it's like I'm going to have to sit here and wait for the app to load and pull up full screen while I can't check anything else unless I have my second monitor on. And it, even then it's still pretty annoying. It's like mm -hmm. One second. Okay, September. Okay. Um. But anyways, as I was saying, Windows Windows apps. They're. I never really used them. Like as it was, but. With Windows 10, like I I actually use apps a lot more often than I expected, and. I also found out that I can also develop apps um, the, the same way I can develop phone apps with um, HTML and CSS and JavaScript and whatnot, um, which I'd love to look into. I'd love to make Windows apps, because um, I think that would be pretty neat. Um, and I might mm, even like make my uh, Planet Spinner um, into a uh, Windows app, just as a nice little like thing to run in the background and hide the controls should you want to. Um, and so, like, Windows 10 apps are just really cool. Like, um, Groove, Groove Music is really nice. The new photo viewer is, like, the best thing in the world. Um, I use OneNote a lot. I use Microsoft OneNote quite a bit. Um, but I, I still use Google Keep more than anything. Um, just because it's more convenient. And I made a little desktop client of it that pops up like instantly. Um, uh, but another thing with Microsoft Edge for a <laughs> for a Windows app browser, it is amazing. Like I'm gonna have to go mining soon. Whoops. For like a Windows Windows browser app, I never would have expected it to be so like so actually good. Um. Like, as it is, um, cause, wow, I I literally stopped using Google Chrome all because of uh, Microsoft Edge, which is really surprising. I never would have actually thought about switching over to Edge, up until the point where I actually started using it. And um, like being a web developer, I use Web Notes all the time. Like, if I'm trying to come up with like a, a like a layout for something and I don't want to have to like redraw the entire thing, wow, what am I doing? <laughs> If I don't want to have to like redraw the entire thing um, in like Paint or Photoshop, um, like if I would just want to make like a little like tiny note, 
I'll use web notes. Like, surprisingly enough. Like, they're really convenient. Um, and so I've just been, I've just been doing that this entire time. Um, which, it, it's, it's a really nice browser, it, it's, it's kind of buggy, I will admit. It's kind of buggy from time to time, um, but at the same time, um, it's really, really useful. Um, because it, it loads really quickly, it doesn't use up much, much, um, much processing power, and it doesn't use up all of your RAM like Chrome does. Um, sorry Chrome, um, as much as I love Google, but Microsoft Edge has really, I know my friends have switched over to using it a lot, um, I've used Microsoft's mail client a good bit, I'm using, I'm using their, uh, their alarm, their alarms, and, uh, what is it called, alarms and clock app right now to, um, to keep track of my recording time, which right now it's 25 minutes and 56 seconds, well, 26 minutes now, um, I've, I've been using that for a lot of different things, and I, if, if the Windows 10 built-in recorder is better than, uh, is better than Fraps, I, uh, may have to call quits for Fraps, um, surprisingly enough, after, <laughs> after all these years of never, never liking anything else, like, Fraps might be, uh, might be kill, because of Windows 10. Um, the other thing, uh, I keep forgetting the main thing that I'm, I'm staring at right in the face right now. Um, Cortana. Oh god, I hope she didn't, okay. She almost popped up when I said that. Qu uh, Cortana is, like, one of the nicest and most convenient things ever. <laughs> um, like... Because if I'm, like, laying back at my desk and I'm, like, really tired or just feeling, like, really lazy, I can just say, Hey, Cortana. I'm not gonna say it because I don't want her to go off right now. Um, but... Cortana's really useful. Like, you can do pretty complex calculations, um, with the, the built-in calculator for it. Which is nice because I don't always feel like pulling up a calculator or grabbing mine. Um, but the Windows 10 built-in calculator is also really nice, just as I should throw that in. Um, but the calculator in there is really good, and you can do complex equations, like I was doing log logarithms and, um, and roots in the calculator in Bing, which I, I, I use Bing, so, pe people, people complain about, uh, Cortana using Bing, but, I, I mean, I use Bing, just cause, you know, search result, uh, credit is nice, cause what's better than, uh, free gift cards and stuff? Uh, stuff like that you can get just by searching. I mean, it, it just adds up after a while, and I I don't I don't feel the need to compete products um, for things like like I don't have like a strong opinion for technological things. Um, uh, I did this wrong. Um, with things like like operating systems, like I I can I can say. The only thing is, I can say I, I would never use an Apple product in my life. I don't like them at all. Um, like especially like from a from a developer standpoint and from a programmer like uh, from a developer standpoint and from a graphic designer standpoint, I just don't like iPhones. They they make things so complicated when you're trying to do like the most basic of stuff. Like if you want to put something on the uh, the Apple Store, whatever it's called, the App Store, um, it's, it's very, mm, you have to have it developed on a Mac, and you have to pay a lot for licensing, and it, it's, it's crazy, um, whereas, like, Windows phones and Androids, you can just build an APK and just say, hey, I made this thing, um, and then they'll, uh, look over it and, uh, I'll put it on the store. So, it's nice. But, um, like, I, I, I don't feel the need to fight over Google versus, um, versus Bing. Uh, I don't feel the need to fight Google Chrome versus Firefox. I mean, I prefer Google Chrome, but I used Firefox for almost all of my life. 
um, up until Google Chrome finally got its shit together and uh, the only reason I started using it was because I could sync it to my phone. Like, I, I can sync my bookmarks to my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S4, by the way. Um, like, that that's the only difference to me. And I don't I don't see the need to compete with anything revolving around that. Um, so, I, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm crazy, or maybe it's Maybelline. Um, but, I don't know. I've never sought competition in general products. Like, it's like saying, uh... What's better, Dasani water or Meyer brand water bottles or uh, Fiji water? Like it's it's water. You're gonna drink it either way. Like same thing with uh, regular products. Like you're gonna use them either way. So why why fight over them? And, like pe people get mad over stuff like that. Like I've seen some people get really really angry over people, um, using different products from them, like, I, I've had people, like, flip shit when they found out I use Bing, it's like, I just want to search the internet, like, I won't stay on Bing for more than, like, five seconds, like, why, why would, why would I? Um, like, I, I just need to search something really quick, and then check whatever, because it's going to give you the same results regardless, because they use pretty much the same indexes, so it doesn't really matter. So, I don't know. People get mad over whatever they want to get mad about. People get mad just to get mad, you know. It happens. I don't know. Life's weird. Um... I may have to split this episode into a two-part. Yeah. I think... Okay, yeah. I'm gonna put a door in real quick, and then we're gonna call it quits for today's episode. God damn... Um... Just ignore that happened. Um, I'll probably use those anyway. Um, we're gonna call it quits for this episode. Um... But... We're gonna next episode. We're gonna put in the roof and the redstone, and things are gonna be all G. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll talk more in the next episode. Um, Cortana is definitely amazing. It's it's very good voice control, um, and I really like it. So good job Windows 10 on everything you've done. Um, so peace out, guys. We'll see you in the next part. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next time. Peace out, guys.